Hey, what's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here at the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, it's been a couple of weeks and once again, NVIDIA has a new line of cards being released. This time, we're seeing their new 430 series of video cards. Now, we saw the 450 a couple weeks ago. That was kind of a midline introduction video card. This is the seriously introductory video card for the gamer. It's priced out at about $79, so it's a pretty good price. In this video, we'll go over some of the features and it's whether it's worth your money at the end of the day. So follow along, check out the video, and for you people out there I know are gonna bitch and go, hey, this isn't a high-end video card. Hey man, not everybody buys a high-end video card. And for those people who are looking for an entry card who don't play games, this just might be their perfect match. So let's see what it's got to offer. So what does come in the box of the new ASUS ENGT430? Well, starting off, you get the VGA driver manual CD. You also get a little speed setup graphics card book. You also get two brackets. Now, these two brackets are really cool because it can take your thing down into a small form factor video card. So for those people who need a low profile video card in their systems, this actual thing can come as a real benefit. Not many of the cards that are out feature this. Some of the things I like about the card right off the bat is that it features a dust free fan it's a single slot solution and actually requires no power whatsoever to run. These are some great features of the card because if you have a low end power supply or you're just using this card as an add-in, that can be really beneficial to you installing the system. You also get a couple different brackets in here so you can change this from a normal card to a low pro system, which is really good for people that are building. The card features one gigabyte of DDR3 memory and it also has DirectX 11 full support. The Rear IO features a standard DVI port a standard VGA port and an HDMI out. Now this is the standard HDMI out, not the mini that seems to work with the new Mac. You might wanna take that in mind if you're planning on using this with your Mac. For a more detailed look at this card, including all the specs, take a look at our written review. The link is in the description. Whew. So what do I got to say about this card at the end of the day? Well, in actuality, this card is very slow, I think. It is really only for a very introductory gamer who plays, you know, maybe RPG titles or something like that, where you've got a top-down view. Most first-person shooter games or the, like, racing card games, they'll play, but they just play okay. All the bells and whistles aren't included, so if you're running, like, a really giant monitor or anything like that, this wouldn't be the card you're looking for. But... If you're a guy who's got under $80, you only play a few games, and you don't want to use your onboard video card, then I would say the new 430 from ASUS is a good card to consider. There'll be a bunch of other reviews on other manufacturers and makers as the weeks go along, so follow along. But for now, I say the new 430, it's an okay card. For $80, it's okay. And that's really what I got to say at the end of the day. The card is just okay.